Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP list table tutorial for beginners and this is our part 10. In this video session guys, we are going to implement about bulk option to our WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WP list table. If this is your first video session guys, then I strongly suggest you to watch our previous video session to get the clear concept about part 10. Okay, so all the existing code we have uploaded about this GitHub link. You can download all codes from this link. Okay, so basically guys, we have a question. Question is that what is bulk option in WP list table? Okay, so just back to administrator panel. If you go to post section, so this is called WP list table. Okay, so inside WP list table we have an option here we can see that something called bulk actions. Right now here we have two options called edit and move to trash. Okay, so by selecting any of the option we can click on apply button and we can actually operate our functions according to this drop down list. Okay, so if we open up our custom WP list table plugin. So this is the plugin guys so far that we have developed inside the whole playlist of WP list table. Okay, so in our custom WP list table guys, right now we have no bulk actions. So basically we want to implement the functionality or let's say that this is the drop down actually provided by WP list table. So we want to make this layout section to our WP list table. Okay, so how can we implement that? So basically guys bulk action means we want to operate the functionality to all of the rows okay means if you want to select all the rows if you want to click on move to trash so by clicking on this button click on apply so by clicking on apply button actually we are going to move all these posts to our trash section okay so basically bulk action means we are going to perform action on group of rows okay so we want to implement this layout section to our custom WP list table so how can we implement that so just back to editor so this is the plugin guys so far we have developed this is our main plugin file OWP list table and this is one of the move file that actually in this file we have made our custom class and extend by using WP list table okay so by the help of this class guys actually we have override many of the methods and now we have used about the several core methods of WP list table okay so we are going to implement our WP list table called bulk options so let's see that public function get bulk actions this is one of the more method guys actually WP list table provides okay we are going to override this method okay so inside this method guys we are going to define a variable called actions basically it is an array okay inside this array we are going to pass some of the drop down values okay means the values that we have seen inside this drop down okay all these values actually we are going to pass inside that array okay so just back to editor so let's say that we are going to implement about delete operation okay so let's say delete we are going to add another option called edit okay so let's say edit and finally let's return actions okay so if we save this file go to browser and now reload this page so as we can see that guys by implementing or by overriding that method we have an option called bulk actions right here with two options called delete and edit okay these are the options guys we have added to our drop down list so if you go to editor so this is the array that we have made by the help of these options we have added our options to drop down list okay so this is the implementation of guys bulk actions okay so about the functionality of delete and edit by selecting these you can actually make your custom code for that WP list table does not provide code for that okay it provides only the layout or interface you can just make your own custom code for delete all and apply button so you can implement your own code as own okay so just back to editor so we want that actually WordPress has also a checkbox inside our WP list table table header okay this is a checkbox while clicking on that it will select all the options of our WP list table rows okay so how can we implement the checkbox functionality to our custom WP list table right now we have no checkbox right here okay so first of all we have to add a checkbox at this table header okay so just back to editor go inside the method that we have defined called get columns okay so inside that let's say that CB this is the key for checkbox okay so inside the inside this let's add a checkbox so let's input type 
it's a checkbox just close this okay so if we save that go to browser reload this page so now in the header section guys we have a checkbox okay next we have to add checkbox for all individual rows so just back to editor now we have to make a method for that okay so let's say that public function and that method actually called column as a prefix column underscore and cb for the checkbox okay so inside that we are going to pass the item variable this item variable basically indicates about the individual rows values okay so just back to editor so now inside this method let's say that return as printf this is a php function inside this let's define our checkbox okay so let's say that input type checkbox let's say that name equal to post and finally we have to pass the value section okay so for value let's I'm going to pass the placeholder for that okay so just let's say that first of all we have to close this input type and finally we have to pass the item ID section for this placeholder okay so just I'm going to pass the ID section for that so this item actually basically it will it is an array which contains the individual rows values okay so it has a key called ID okay so basically we have to fetch the ID value from that array okay so if I save that just back to browser reload this page so now as we can see guys these are the individual checkbox that we have developed by the help of that method okay so if I click on this icon so as we have the same layout or the same functionality as we can see inside the post section okay so by clicking on this bulk action called delete and edit these operations guys actually we have to code by itself okay this is not provided by WP listable okay so basically guys this is only video about the demonstration of that how can we add the bulk options and also how can we implement the checkbox functionality to individual rows in WP listable for the functionality point of view guys means we want to perform some of the operations or delete on edit you can actually develop this code on your own okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day